about, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about love. No, not love and marriage. Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm at the gym. Excuse my look. You get it. If you don't, who cares? Um, so Potomac is a union four-part. Okay? The four-part. So, part one was last week. And I'm going to just say all of them didn't give me looks that was something to talk about. So, we're going to move on. Um, Giselle... You just never get it right, and for you to say you have a stylist, which is Cal, I don't know, it looked like Ross, I mean, whatever, you like it, I love it. So, they start out with Giselle, and the timeline of when her and Jamal broke up. She don't know, because she lying as usual, and it was basically, oh, I think it was December, and then... Um, Wendy chimes in, no, because he had a tweet in December, and I'm like, damn, girl, you watching the timeline? But we know that whole relationship was just destined to fail, and Robin, um, after they kept going in on Giselle about timelines, and why did she take him back, and yada, yada, boom, cat, um, Robin was like, why do you have keep trying to tell her something? She doesn't feel how she feels, and she should be able to... I'm like, first of all, mind your business. They was talking to Giselle. You so invested in what Jamal and Giselle's feelings, situations are, that you don't realize Juan don't give a good goddamn about you. I said it. Juan don't give a damn about her. I mean, they're roommates with benefits and kids. So after Giselle got caught out there, and then they started about Jamal, then they could have gone to her house. And I'm just like, like the whole house I don't get. I feel like she moved there because it's in Potomac. I feel like she moved there because she thought she could do something grandioso. And you can't. The house ain't it. It's a rehabbed house that she flipped and got for, I guess, a decent price. But it looked like a ranch home that you added, um two tiny houses on top of each other on the right and then on the left is a random staircase and you gotta have wings to your home. Girl, just throw the whole thing away and stuff and scratch because it looks terrible inside. Just terrible. Um, I mean, I'm not a stylish person. I don't have the skill but the whole house is just off. We're gonna move on because they got in on her about that. Then they talked about, um, who was the girl? Mia, and how Mia flipped props. And I feel like Mia understood the assignment. Mia wanted to get on the show, be that girl, come back for the second season, and how they painted the picture of her husband retired and gave it to her. It was a whole big back and forth about that. And Mia is just like, no, it's my business. He had this, he had that. But everybody says, one minute you like somebody, the next minute you don't. And it's like, I get it, because she didn't know any of them. So, on one mind, one hand, oh, I like this, she seems really nice. Because your first interaction with her was nice. Then you see her for her works and who she is. And it's like, then they started going in on Mia about being a stripper. And I'm like, Mia, just call a thing a thing. If you strip, if you chicken strip, at chicken strip. So what? Only to move on. You're not that anymore. You don't live there anymore. You don't work there anymore. So they can't keep antagonizing you with that. But that went from A to Z and then Candace. Candace, Candace, Candace. Candace starts with the tears, of course, because she's upset at how the relationships look on TV for Chris and his parents and her mama and how she talks about her husband and it's like you put her on the show, you give her airtime, what you, you want to do with that? So his parents gonna know that her mama don't like them and how they feel about her son but let's be honest y'all make Chris out to be this pansy y'all make y'all don't show Chris's businesses or Chris's job Y'all show Chris as this random guy 
that's just sitting somewhere when Candace needs him. Yeah, don't show him catering events. Yeah, show him coming from a catering event that he could have worked at. Not been a chef at, but I don't show him doing a job. So that's production's fault and Candace's fault for letting him. Um, then they start with Candace. So the, the fight, this altercation scene with her and Mia. My question is, last year, y'all gave Candace. Oh, Candace was so sorry you went through this. Candace had the sticky notes everywhere. She's triggered. She's this. She's that. And I'm like, come on. Y'all was catering to her when she did bad behavior. And she felt those things against Monique when we left the show. Now, y'all on Mia's side saying Candace deserves what she got. And I'm like, so she didn't deserve it then, but she deserves it now? And she did the same exact thing? You, people come at you, you come back at them. But you have to understand, in the black community, I don't care how old you are. If you want to get into it, you can get into it. I don't care how old you are. I'm 43. If you're coming at me, I'm coming back at you. If you throw some shit at me, I'm going to throw a whole something else at you. And I might even suck the shit out you. It's not going to be, you know, like she said, I'm, I'm just orating. No, you're not. You're having a abusive dialogue that's going back and forth. There's no limits. And some people just ain't about that life. And Candace, you are not about that life. You can't back that shit up. So, you're always talking about me as big feet. Um... Ashley's big forehead and it's like people can brush you off but so long and abuse is abuse physical mental and the difference is physical heals sometimes mental saves you for a lot longer so you kind of need to watch your mouth or they're gonna have a new girl on the show who gonna slap the shit out you and take the lawsuit because Andy said, how is it working out for you, Candace? And you had nothing to say. And she said, so it's my fault? Yes, bitch, it's your fault. They didn't go in on Wendy too much or um, Robin and Ron and Karen because it's a four-part episode. Four, four, four episodes of this reunion. So that's all I got. Like, comment, and subscribe.